Morning, morning, morning. Hey, come on. Get them shackles off him. Oh, son, can't eat proper. Do you know? Not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's what. Queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? While we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Okay, morning, morning, again. This, as you can see, if you were able to read, is Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. I don't really know much about it at all. I think it's some sort of game that was based upon a card game, or it could even be a card game. I don't know, but let's find out, shall we? New game. Adventurer. Familiar with Gwent? I've never played it. So let's just do this lumpy potato peeling guy version of the game then. The year 1267. War hung in the air. It sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was, not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, your majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. All right. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeren. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw-stuffed dummies round the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, 
Rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. <sighs> I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, your grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. Okay, right. <clears throat> what I will do is unlock the webcam. Shove me down here for now. So that you've got a rough idea of what's actually happening. Okay. Let me just double check. Okay, right. Blah, blah, blah. Follow the cobblestone. Blah, blah, blah. You can read that yourself. But what if I want to go up here? <coughs> okay, so the X means can't go there. Is that right? Alright, let's chuck you off a cliff then. No, nope, you can't do anything like that. Even though it says X, you can still uh, guide your character to it. Okay. Right. So when you do that, it makes it look as if your character is actually gobbing on the floor. Like... Whoosh. What's this thing by a, is it a flower? Right, okay. Get on with it! So they don't follow the path then, they just literally run in a straight line. Okay, that's good to remember. <coughs> and talk to these people here. Ah, so they don't run in a straight line. If there's obstacles, makes sense, that's good. Gold, wood and recruits. I think I can see. So let's go up here. Yep, just walk over where the guy's doing his fucking work. Plus nine recruits. Milka. 
They stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Oh. Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Right. Found a treasure map. Okay. So, treasure map, hut, trees. Yeah. How exactly are we carrying this fucking wood then? The strays, they're called, Your Majesty. Because they bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. The strays, they're called, Your Majesty. Right, come on. Because they bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. Let's see what we can do with this guy here. Nothing. Right, okay. Ooh. Hang on. This looks a bit like that little map. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go up here. Okay, continue. Let's go here. Ah, so if I want to unblock this tree, I Let's choose that option. Huzzah! All in a day's work. <gasps> Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meade charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Start battle. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Outrage! Your Grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Let's click on that. <coughs> Play any card. I'm fucking trying to. There. This is salt of the earth. They are your grace. They follow you into fire. 
You need simply say the word. And turn. Yeah, yeah. Let's put him A there. Listen in humility, coming now. Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! Play any card. Can I make her go anywhere? No? Let's do this one. Go there? No? One bolt. Oh, whoa, what's going on? All right. Oh, let's get the fucking highest scoring one. Out. Yes. Our victory is assured. Sound the horns. May they sing praises of this triumph for ages. Right. Come on. Oh. The battle's not yet done. Fuck yeah. It's better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Formation. Protect the Queen! Right. As you can probably see, I'm getting decidedly fucking bored. It's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Rabbit the white of an eye from half a league away. Give me a time. Oh, end turn, right? Okay. We'll catch them all. Can I make her kick somebody's fucking head in? Abolist to your command. The bigger they are, easier they are to target. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. Huzzah! Verily. Whoop. <clears throat> Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Neve said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors have not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. Fucking hell! Football hooliganism or something's going on by yeah? here. Right, what's this? Oh, 
Oh, wrong one. Do we rob dead bodies and things? Ah, uh, I do adore this prospect. Yes, Lyria, the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. Tent button on the side of the screen. I am now pitching a tent. Enter the workshop. Is this the workshop? Upgrade the royal tent to level two. Which one is the command tent? Ah, oh, that's it, right, okay. Oh, God. Right. Click, click, click. Continue, 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 continue. I'm not reading all of this out. Fucking hell. Ooh, right. Craft a Wagenberg card. I'm not seeing what I'm supposed to do here. to my deck. So does he go up there? Got it. Right, that's 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 it for me. Um stunningly presented game. I think this is uh uh, fantastic I like it I like it a lot I've not really played one of these kind of card games before as such I I did play um, I think there was a Star Wars card game thing on the phone I think something like that but this is this is like so much better um, current location there you go I think I mean I, I yeah first impressions this is going to take a while to kind of get into what with me being 
uh, total noob with regards to these kind of cardy game things. I never bothered playing Gwent. I think I had Witcher 3 for a while. I don't know quite how related they are with regards to characters and what have you. I, I never really finished Witcher 3. Well, I never really started it. I was more of, um, I'm going to put it, I remember thinking that I couldn't play Witcher 3 if I hadn't played the previous games. I kind of prefer if it's got like a story to to go through if you're using the same characters you know if you're not creating your own character kind of like Skyrim or Oblivion or something like that but if you've got an already established character you're controlling I felt that I should really be playing from the beginning in order to kind of get the gist of it much like um, things like God of War and stuff like that um, I don't think it would be right of me to jump in with the latest game but who knows um, but yeah I'm liking this I'm liking this a lot actually stunning to look at seems fairly easy to try and get to grips with um, it's the learning curve doesn't seem too steep it, it's kind of I, for me I think it's doable it hasn't put me off the game immediately like it might have done with with others is this what I pay taxes for to be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight no less were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round, through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round, through Sodden. I think I've seen that. Is this what I pay taxes for? No. To be robbed along the high road, and in broad daylight, no less. Fuck off. All right, um... Oh, let's go and have a look, see what this is, quick. An offering to a way shrine, okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, right, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not going to get too far into it. I don't really want to be getting too involved in this. I've got other things I want to crack on with. But, yeah, I am liking this. I am liking it a lot. Um, I feel it's something I can sort of sink my teeth into without thinking, oh, my God, how am I going to be able to digest all of this? Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, don't forget to uh, smash that like button, dong that bell, and uh, everything else that these uh, YouTubers seem to end their videos with, other than the video is about to end now. Goodbye.